Hello guys, now in this particular video, we'll be creating one of the script that is the file integrity checker. That is the basically a uh, simple script which we will be using to check the integrity of the file, whether the file has been changed or not. Okay, so basically for this tutorial, we'll be using one of the tools that is the MD5 sum. Okay, so let me just show you the demonstration of this particular tool. So basically this tool will generate the hash of the particular file. So if you will check the hash of this hello.txt so here you can see there this is the hash okay so but now if we'll change the uh, something like uh, let me add uh, again one d here and again let me check the hash so there will be change in both the hashes so here you can see the difference so basically what we'll be doing so we'll be using this tool and we'll be creating two functions for generating hash and uh, checking hash and uh, we will check if both the hashes will match from the previous hash then there will be no uh, changes we will display that as an output and if there is changes then we will display output as like there is change in a file okay so let's start with the uh, creation of the script so let me just add the one file that is the file integrity checker file integrity checker dot sh okay so now what we will do uh, I will create two function so let me just uh, pin bash shebang has been added and we will give the two option for the user for generating hash and the create checking hash okay so but before this I will just create the function that is the generate hash okay and we'll be covering all the concept which we have covered till now like mostly function will be covered in this particular video okay so now I will just ask the user to uh, enter the file name of which we want to generate hash so here I will ask the user enter the file name please okay and I will just store the uh, file name in the read file name variable file name variable and then now what we will do we will just generate the hash and store that hash into the file that is md5 sum and we'll provide the file name and we will just uh, file name dot md5 we will store the output in the md5 this output whatever the output we are getting this one we will store in this md5 okay and uh, then we will just echo hash value stored in dot dollar file name whatever the file name we have file name dot md5 file okay so uh, this is the generate hash let me just call the function and let me check whether everything is working fine or not clear the screen dot slash uh, but before that I will need to provide a certain permission to this file that is ch mode plus x that is 23 clear the screen dot slash 23 into the file name I will just write uh, hello dot txt here and here you can see hello hash value is stored in this file so let me check okay so here hash value has been stored we can check here okay now uh, coming back uh, to the script so let me just uh, clear here generate hash now what I will do I will just uh, uh, what we can say Mm, check hash value will uh, check hash check uh, hash check hash value okay and echo enter the file name now we, we are just checking the hash value and we will match the hash value with our previous value okay so echo enter the file name again we will uh, enter the file name and we will just read file name we are creating the variable and storing this in the file name oh, and now we will uh, generated hash we will create one variable value generated hash okay don't confuse between generate hash and generated hash okay and here we will store the output of the previously uh, whatever the previous uh, hash which has been generated in the md5 file so we will store the value like this value we will store in this variable generated hash how we can do it we will just read the file name that is dollar 
file name dot md5 we will add okay and then we will again uh, again we will just uh, store the uh, uh, like current hash or current output so how we can do it dollar and we will just do md5 sum and then we will just provide a file name okay now we are good to go and then we will use the if conditions here like if uh, we will just uh, do like this if uh, and we will pass the double quotes and dollar and let me just copy this thing if dollar generated hash will be equal equal to we will use here equal equal to again double quote dollar output then in this case what we have to do then echo there is there is no change in file okay and in the else condition we will surely uh, add the echo statement that is there is there is something change something change in a file okay and then we have to just uh, block the uh, if condition we have to just close the if condition okay and now what we have to do uh, what we can do uh, like uh, now we will just echo the choices echo one dot what the user want generate hash whether user want to generate hash or whether user want to calculate hash to check file integrity we can say file integrity okay and then what we will do we will use the switch case and uh, whatever the thing which we have already learned so we will use read hyphen p okay and we will like write enter your choice enter your choice okay and we will store it in the choice variable that is the choice okay and then we will use the case dollar choice okay in and if this is the if this is one then what we have to do echo gen uh, generating hash and then we have to just call that function that is the generate hash okay here we go generate hash okay now we have to just uh, remove this part now if two is selected by the user then in this case what you have to do and here you have to just break this one okay two then we have to just echo uh, we can do checking file integrity okay and we have to just call this function that is the check hash value okay and we have just closed this one and the if any other value that is the default if we get the default then in this case we have to just uh, echo invalid choice buddy invalid choice okay and we have to close this case okay now we are good to go i hope everything is uh, ready and we will just run this script again or clear the screen okay and i will just remove this file here uh, because we will be using this file okay and i will just uh, remove this one also okay now run this script okay what is the choice first enter the file name hello.txt okay hash value has been stored inside this file now we will do again run this script and now we want to check file integrity enter the file name hello.txt okay so there is no change in file okay but now what i will do i will just again uh, do hello.txt and uh, i will add this one e okay and again i will uh, clear the screen again run the script enter your choice that is the second check file integrity enter the file name 
hello.txt and here you can see there is something change in a file okay so in this case you can see uh, like uh, we have changed the file here name like we have added e so it is showing me that there is something change in a file so our uh, this script is running uh, actually fine so for your uh, like if you want to go on some advanced level you can uh, use try except block all those things uh, okay for if file doesn't exist you can just pop up an error or echo the statement like file doesn't exist all those kind of things okay so that's all for today's guys and i hope you liked it and uh, we have used multiple things inside this so uh, this is basically the longest script which we have uh, entered uh, till now so that's all for today's guys and i will meet you in the next video thank you thank you for watching